Okay, and here we are again with mission number nine, the devil inside. I believe this is where Dante gets his devil trigger because we have gone through eight missions without the damn thing. In fact, this is the latest in any game of the series or franchise that he picks up the devil trigger. <sighs> Sorry, pardon my coughing, I just had some soda. Um, I was saying that this is the latest uh, that Dante in any form of media picks up his devil trigger. In fact, even later than the final episode of the anime where it's implied that he uses it to defeat the boss. I mean, you know, the enemy in there. Oh, but what the hell? We had subtitles. Oh, okay, yeah. You were blinded and imprisoned here for how long? Yeah, turn it down to 12. Are you sure you know your way okay, around? Fine. Like the back of my hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you nuts? I forget. You and I see things differently. Seeing things differently can open new paths. What do you mean? You only see evil in me because I am a demon. Try opening your mind. It's all a matter of perspective. Okay, so far I like this Phineas character. He's actually a, a, a lot more intellectual like, than I can give any of the other characters credit for. As I said, I see things differently. For me to begin, I have something to show you. Is there anything here at the beginning? And I know this is a bridge that Phineas set up so that he and Dante could cross. But I like to usually look back to see if there are any missing items. Oh, and hey everybody, what's up? Um, X my friend X-Squad isn't really gonna talk right now. Uh, it'll just be me on this one level. And I'm actually gonna try and not take 25 minutes to complete it. So yeah, we're just chilling and exploring. And this time, I'm gonna be on the lookout for anything like Lost Souls. Yeah, this door is not a Lost Soul. This door can only be cleared away with one weapon. No, uh, but let me remind you, anytime you hear the uh, a lost soul, that's when you know one, there is one present. Okay, now I'm hearing it, I just can't see it. Oh, whatever, it's not worth uh, spending ten minutes beating around the bush. No, it's one. there's one up there, I thought there would be. Okay, where are you, you little thing? I can hear you, but I cannot see you. There's something wrong here. And if you guys haven't noticed, we finally got the widescreen issue cleared up. What? Why are you now loading? What the hell was that? No, you don't freaking load during the level play. Oh, it looks like you entered the simulator. No, I can't see it. So here's what's gonna happen. We're just gonna move on and we're gonna have to skip it. What I wanna do is get through the game. Oh! Okay, yeah. Because I had a feeling that there was one on the ceiling. But that doesn't appear to be the case. It seems like the standard Claymore Rebellion is the only weapon that can defeat the Lost Soul. I mean, that can free it. Yeah, so like I said, X-Squad isn't going to chat much. It's just going to be me. An ancient one. Nephilim, like you. I didn't know there were others. The Nephilim were the third race. Sadly, they were hunted down and slain. Why? They wielded the power of both angels and demons. But unlike them, the Nephilim could easily cross worlds. They were formidable. Which made them a threat. Like me. And like you, they held great potential. What a waste. You want to reach your full potential? Perhaps... Asio holds the key. I hope this microphone doesn't pick up at, like what seems to be heavy breathing. It's just that this thing is omnidirectional, it's pretty sensitive, and I'm hoping... I'm just hoping that I can pick up more of the game footage and my voice. So what I need to do is jump, dash, ebony ivory, um, for a slow descent. Okay, I, jump, I double jumped and dashed too early, too early on. Okay, 
There we go. Now where? Above. Oh, it's floating up. Okay, I do not see where I'm supposed to go. I think I do. To your left. Down. Left, down. There you go. Oh. No, it's to my, all the way to my left, yeah. By rotating the camera. Oh, okay, then the rest should be a cakewalk. SEL? He thinks it's her, but no, it's just the witch ba uh, based enemy. I was about to say Witchblade for a second. Hey, that's a series that's tied in with the darkness, right? Right, right. This, this angelic based enemy cannot be defeated with any other weapon. I, but I can use Rebellion to parry her. Like, even if it doesn't kill her. At least. Okay, so like, is she... she is she impervious to my Rebellion? No, she is not. Where are you? Where are you? Are you still... She's still here? Damn it! I was trying to do the... Intro. Better just stick to removing her shield with my angelic weapon. Whoa. Okay, that cannot be carried. I, I think I should just stick to my prophet shredder at that time. It seems to be the most useful. the key. SCL holds the key. Oh, and I have to apologize for the lack of uh, protect the previous takes, like the last two, three videos. It's just that we were really tired that day, because capturing these videos, editing them, and making sure that the audio is in sync with each one is such a hassle. Alright, it's a tremendous obstacle. Especially when you spend the whole damn day working on it. I just didn't really have anything to do at that time. I keep thinking that you hold down the, the stance button and the jump in order to dash to the, ri to the ring. Ah, I gotta breathe. <coughs> okay. All war is for the deceptions. You have been deceived. You cast the beginning from me for a reason. So this must be the fourth chain, I believe. Yeah, this is the fourth one. We've been through this world three different times, at least. One to, ca to catch the Opion Whip. The other to test Arbiter. All right, let's see what happens. Hmm. Right stairs. You know there's a drop downstairs, right? There is no drop. This is nothing. It, lo it, it looks like the same design, like the same platform layouts, just rearranged differently. The spiders. Yeah, I didn't think I could actually do that though, because remember in that other level, I believe it was Underwatch, or it was the one before it. Uh, the one where Dante could not move against where the camera wanted him to, when I tried to reach for that lost yeah, soul, or the, or the angel wall. No, it's, it's, cool. it's cool. You don't need to talk much. I, like, I can take over, no problem. Okay, so now we've pretty much destroyed. We've severed all the chains from him. Okay, I like what I'm seeing. The amulet is resonating with an ancient... Ancient statue. Dante you, are here. Dante, you are here because I wasn't able to protect you. For that, I am truly sorry. You 
your father fell in love with me. A love that transgressed rigid ancient boundaries. We chose our path in the face of certain annihilation. We never regretted our choices, but we never gave you yours, my dear son. Now, finally, you will have that choice. You will have a great power. A power that will allow you to forge your own path. That, my son, is freedom. Okay, so is this a pre-recorded message? Be brave, my son. I mean, how is he having this vision? It looks like it came from the amulet he's holding. Uh, okay. Manifestation of Dante's true power. Double trigger un unleashes... Unleashed sends the world into chaos, throwing surrounding enemies helplessly in air. Ah, now, if you remember properly, there was such a technique as this in Devil May Cry 3 called the Quick Style Double Trigger. The problem, though, is... Yeah, Double Trigger attacking enemies fills Dante's Double Trigger gauge. Once the gauge is above the minimum threshold, Dante can activate Double Trigger. Yeah, like on the PS3 version, you use the L and R stick, which are near to, near each other, which are neighboring. On the 360, you just use both sticks. Oh my god, his hair turned white! Wow, I'm really impressed! You know, not that a heart and soul, personality, character traits, doesn't mean anything otherwise. I'm pretty sure it does. When Devil Trigger activates, the Devil Trigger Gauge drains. Yeah, when active. Dante's health regenerates and he has increased damage and armor. Bonus style points are rewarded for aerial combat while Devil Trigger... Devil Trigger is available. I'm having trouble pronouncing things today. Look, I'm just gonna do the same crap I do. Mental kills. I mean, it's nice in uh, Bayonetta, but I feel like I don't know because of because it was really just in one level. All enter, all other enemies could fly predominantly. I'm saying that word a lot, like it's boss ball. It's Phineas and Ferb. I'll call him that. Phineas and Ferb. I like that show. Yeah, it's getting a crossover with Marvel, oh, if it hasn't already. On my way. Like, it's actually getting a legitimate uh, crossover from the characters are gonna be in a little more just than just a cameo. That's only because I was, like, back in the corner. And again, lock on. Get a hat, doesn't play a part. This is bad. Okay, the, the first thing to do would be to just to take out the angel. Where are you? You see, the thing is, I could track her easily if I did have lost. Oh, it looks like you actually use that to put it back at her, you might be able to throw a shield. 
Yeah, that was what I had been trying to accomplish earlier. Par simply uh, parrying. Okay, this is probably the time when I will need Shredder, because it's a continuous strike when I have it equipped. Okay, I mean, I know Rake doesn't work, but it never hurts to just check in here. It looks like you'll have a better easier time killing her and just kill all the other What enemies. is that? What? Is there a second? No, it actually looks like... She created a clone. A transparent clone, man. No, it looks like if she tries to use an ability that entraps you, but instead it catches your enemy. That did then. not look like an entrapment. That looked like she was just creating a split version of herself. Yeah. 